Guys, John here from Pit Bros. I'm down here in Fermi, right? Down in Cork at Fitzgerald's Butcher Shop. This is Barry right here. And I've been here all day. I've been cooking for everyone down in Fermi, which is amazing. I met some wonderful characters. And <laughs> yeah. I just want to know a little bit more about yourself, Barry. Tell me a bit, when did you start? And just a bit of your story. I started since I, when I left school. Yeah. Literally, or even before it. But uh, <laughs> my dad, my uncle started the business in 63. And we've been in Fermi since then. Um, I moved into this premises um, out my own, so my dad and my uncle are retired. Yeah. I moved in here, I'm here nearly two years now. This is the third time we've moved within the town, but yeah. um, it's been great since I've moved across it, bigger premises. We're salt aging now as opposed to just dry aging, we're taking it to another level. Yeah. Um, yeah, it has, it has been great. It's amazing. Love it. it's like for me being down here, it's wonderful, and thank you so much for having me as well. And yeah, yeah. Like, nice to have I you. Set up the barbecue at the front, and I met some wonderful people, and we're just cooking up all day. But like, your beef is incredible. And tell me a bit, how do you dry age it? What do you do? What's special about it? Because well, we we what I had was unreal. We, we kill every second week, and we we hang in the full side yeah. for a minimum ten days to two weeks before we start boning and cutting up. But all the primals then, and what you had today, what goes into the dry ager. Yeah. And it goes in there for anywhere from 30 to 50 days, depending on how busy we are. Yeah. You know, it could be longer. Yeah. We'll show you soon the picture and videos of this as well. If, if, what, what would be your favorite cut of meat now as a butcher? What, what's your go-to dinner point when you sit down and you want something nice? Uh, at Saturday night, I take home a strip line steak strip out line. of the dry age. Yeah. Um, if I'm roasting, it's yeah. pecana. I, yeah. I, I, the Brazilian and, rice. Any of the two of those at the minute is is our, our ribeye, I and like a, and, and with a bit of rub on it, yeah. you know, a bit of seasoning, a bit of John's rub. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Get that in there. Like the proper meat sauce. I, and I didn't pay him for that one. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, look, a, a beautiful pecania, like the fat on the outside. I yeah. saw the ones that you have here in the cook bag, yeah. and some people are afraid to cook pecania as well. Like, overcooking it but the cook bag the and cook bag how makes do you do it, it in the cook bag your so way? so easy it's an hour and a half at 130 you take it out of the bag and you give it 20 minutes at 200 just to crisp up the fat yeah, yeah, yeah. and that's it that's it simple as that and like here as well like all the pork and all the marinades everything is ready to go just yeah. pop it into the oven it's amazing like really good um, if you had to give any inspiration to new upcoming butchers, because you might have a few young butchers in here, and yeah, yeah. for people around the country, and like I'm traveling around, and your name is coming up everywhere, right, right. Um, all over Dublin, all over Kerry, and everything, and it's really good to hear, and like it's lovely to see new butchers coming in, because like, yeah. I am a chef, and I love it when new chefs come into the business, okay. and from my history, working in London with Jamie Oliver and throughout. Yeah. It's amazing to give inspiration for new people. What inspiration or stories will you give to, for new butchers? To new butchers, you have to love meat, number one. Um, yeah. That's a good start. <laughs> it's a good start. It's, listen, it's, 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 tough. it's tough work. It's, yeah. right. it's not easy, but the crack, the crack inside here is great. We all get on. It's like a yeah. family. We all love meat. We love cooking. Um, you don't have to be a chef to cook. You know, yeah. anybody can cook. It's not that hard, but it's it's um, it's just I just the more I'm the more the longer I'm in the game, the more I'm loving it. Yeah, you know, it's not for everyone, but if you enjoy meat, you enjoy cooking. It's it's a great trade to be in, yeah. and it's becoming a very hard trade. Like uh, uh, their butchers are scarce, so it's actually a good trade to get into at the minute. It is, you know, it there's is. plenty of opportunities there for butchers at the minute, and you can take this trade anywhere in the world, a bit like a chef. Yeah, you can go anywhere in the world, and you you'll get a job. I know people gone off to Australia now doing butchery out there. Yeah, yeah. Try yeah. anywhere, like you have handles yeah. everywhere you can cook it. Everyone needs a butcher. They do. Everyone needs a good butcher, so support the local butchers as well. You yes. Know? Um, and final question: If you were to yeah. pick one product um, from Pip Pro's range, what would you pick, and how would you use it, or even what you had today? Oh, oh, right. Oh, don't say the steak was yeah. overcooked. No, no, the steak definitely wasn't overcooked. If I had to pick one product, oh, um, well, it's, it's the bacon jam and the proper meat sauce, the yeah. two for me. But at the minute, I'm using the proper meat sauce with a uh, cooked with a goujon. Okay. And just okay. using as a dip. Oh my God, it's lovely. A bit of chicken goujon. Yeah, I'm looking for more tips of you, how and why all the things to use it in. But it, that's it's, it. it's, it's fabulous. Yeah. 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 No, that's, look, thank you so much. No problem. Thank you to Delighted all the to team it. as well, and I'm so glad I cooked for yeah, yeah. every butcher today as well in there. So that's, yeah. it's, it's what it's all about. Like, it was a great day, yeah. It was a great day. It rained a bit, but 
it's grand, it's a blessing from the sky. Got to meet so many wonderful people down there from my some the smell brought everybody this, in. And and not to mind that there's a gym just upstairs as well. And a lot of the guys from the gym came downstairs and they were very angry with me, so they all had a burger and they all went off home. So yeah, you know who you are uh, if you're watching. But listen, yeah. Barry, thank you so much. Thanks again. very much, Harry. Um, yeah, yeah, I'll be you. back and uh, we're good. gonna have some more fun. Brilliant. So, yeah. yeah. Thank you guys. See thank you. Soon. you.